psych yourself up, get ready. Let's do this. Yo, what's good everyone? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. As you can tell by the title, we are back again with yet another review. Today's review, we will be taking a look at the recently released Ermax 90 in the Persian Violet colorway. Now, before we do go ahead and actually dive into the video itself, I wanna give a massive shout out to all of my returning subscribers. But if you are new around here, welcome to the channel. On this channel, we do release brand new sneaker content just like this each and every week. So if you haven't already, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. If you do like this video, please give us a massive thumbs up, which is always truly appreciated. And once again, really helps us get this video out to more and more people so we can keep expanding on our amazing community. And if you do want to reach out to me outside of YouTube, you can find me most active on Instagram under ACS Sneakers. So feel free to reach out to me anytime. I absolutely love speaking to you guys. And now we got all those formalities out of the way. If we now just go ahead and dive straight in. So first things first, before we take a look at the shoes, let's just take a quick look at the shoe box. Now, as you can see, we just get that pretty boring bog standard red Nike sportswear box with the white Nike branding across the top. If we then just take a quick look at the label, which reads Ermax 90 in the black Persian violet white colorway. Now this is a personal size as it is a UK size 9 as you will be able to see and other than that there's absolutely nothing else about this box that's worth talking about. Pretty boring, pretty standard so with all this out of the way let's go ahead and dive straight into the shoes. So before we do go ahead and actually dive into the video itself I kind of want to shed some light on the hoodie that I'm actually wearing for this video. Now, if you are following me on my personal Instagram, you may have already seen me wearing this, but this is a hoodie that's actually been done by an incredible brand called Boys Get Sad 2. Now, the whole mission statement for the brand is to shed light on men's mental health. It's not something that's talked about enough. It's something that affects millions of men right the way around the world. And this is my way of showing my support and my solidarity to my fellow men that may be struggling with personal issues or have some personal difficulties that they're struggling with. And it's also my way of actually supporting a really incredible brand. Now, I believe that 10% of all purchases will actually go to donations, which is absolutely incredible. And the actual quality of this hoodie is flawless as well. I ordered it on the off chance that it would be good and I was genuinely really surprised. I will try and throw out some shots of the actual hoodie itself and me wearing it. Uh, some of the pictures I actually posted over on Instagram. Now, we'll also be leaving links in my description area below to Boys Get Sad too, and a little bit more information on how you can actually find help if you are actually struggling yourself. I myself have dealt with my own personal issues that I'm not going to get into in this video, but I do think it is definitely something that's worth talking about. It's something that's worth getting involved in. And this isn't sponsored. I'm not being asked to do this. I just think it's an absolutely incredible cause that I genuinely want to get myself behind. This channel, we mostly have a male viewership. And if you are struggling, I want you to know that things definitely do get better and things can get better. So if you are struggling and you do need help, do ask for help and do reach out to any of the services that I will leave in the description box below. But once again, huge shout out to Boys Get Sad too. I love absolutely everything you guys are doing. I'm definitely going to continue to support you guys. Definitely going to be ordering myself some more hoodies, some sweatshirts, some t-shirts. And you'll definitely be seeing it in some future videos as well. But now we've got all of that out of the way, we now just go ahead and get straight into the video. So without any further ado, in hand we have the Ermax 90 in the Persian Violet colorway. Get a good look at it, absolutely beautiful shoe. Genuinely gassed to have this shoe in my collection. This is definitely something that's been on my radar for such a long time. And for anybody that doesn't really know anything about this release or about this colorway, this shoe and this colorway is being released to celebrate the Ermax BW Persian Violet. I can't believe I almost forgot the name of it. Basically, they have released an entire Persian Violet set, including the Ermax 90, 97, TN, 270, and the BW itself. I'm not sure if I'm forgetting anything else. I think it may be the 96 as well. And they are all releasing to celebrate the release of the Ermax BW. This was definitely one of the shoes on the list alongside the BW that I just had to have. I had to review. And now I've got it in hand. A little bit of a spoiler alert. It definitely doesn't disappoint. But just like I always do, I'll be giving you a detailed look at this shoe to hopefully help you guys decide if this is a shoe you should pick up for your own personal collection. 
So to kick off this review today, we'll be starting out with the uppers. Now the upper of the shoe itself does actually use a few different types of materials. Now on the toe box, we do have this all black mesh material, which has then been overlaid with white leather and black new book on the mud guard, as you hopefully will be able to see. Now, as far as the quality of the materials are concerned, the mesh on the toe box feels absolutely fine to me. Really flexible, really breathable, and overall pretty standard when it comes to the Air Max 90. As far as the white leather is concerned on the overlays, feels a little bit plasticky to be completely honest. It's just generally not the best leather at this price point, which retails for £125. It's absolutely fine for me. I imagine that this shoe for me is probably gonna become part of my daily rotation and even eventually one of my beaters. So the quality of the leather on this shoe isn't really an issue for me. And then moving slightly further down on the mud guard, the quality of the new book feels absolutely fine. Has a really soft texture to it overall. But once again, isn't necessarily the most premium new book on any shoe that we've had this year. But even still, all the materials on this shoe definitely get the job done. And as far as the actual colour blocking is concerned, this deep black on the mud guard, the white on the overlay, and then the black material that's used on the mesh just looks absolutely flawless. But as we then begin to work our way through the upper of the shoe itself, we have lots of hits of that Persian violet, which can be seen on the toe box, on the Nike swoosh, which actually has a really nice texture to it on the Ermax branding just underneath on the mud guard, as well as just above this on the eye stays. And this can also be seen on the heel of the shoe as well. For me, the tying of colors from the black, white, black again, and then all these really nice Persian violet hits looks absolutely flawless. I love exactly everything that they've done with this shoe in terms of the colorway. Looks great on feet, looks great in hand, and it was just an absolute must cop for me. I also do really like the white meshing that they used around the actual ankle collar of the shoe as well. I think it adds that really nice dimension to the shoe, kind of mixes it up a little bit as well, which I thought was a really nice touch. And it just honestly blends together so well, works really well. So as far as the actual colorway is concerned, like I've already said, I personally have got absolutely no complaints. But from there, if we then just work our way back into the center of the shoe and take a look at the shoelaces, as you can see, we do have these flat black laces. Now the laces themselves do actually sit atop this black nylon tongue. And at the top portion of the tongue, we do have that Nike branding with that Persian violet swoosh. On the back portion of the tongue, we do have more Persian violet hits once again and then moving inside the shoe we have this all black nylon sock liner the padding on Ermax 90s for me feels incredible on feet feels really nice really comfortable and for me the Ermax 90 is one of the best go-to shoes for any sneaker collection super comfortable super versatile you can dress it up you can dress it down and it just looks absolutely flawless to me. So looks, comfort, durability, this shoe just has absolutely everything that you need. You're goddamn right. And then if we do this work our way even further inside the shoe, we do have this all black insole with more Persian violet hits on that Nike swoosh once again. And then from there, if we do this work our way down to the midsole, we have a combination of black and white on the midsole with the exposed air unit towards the heel. And then if we do the swing over to the outsole of the shoe, we have that classic Air Max 90 outsole in that waffle design, which has been done in this primarily black color with really nice subtle hits of Persian violet once again. So just to briefly touch on the overall size, for this shoe like i kind of touched on at the start of the video i went through to size with a uk size 9 and when it comes to the air max 90 the sizing has never let me down i always go true to size and it always feels absolutely incredible on feet so when it comes to this shoe i would highly suggest just going with your natural true to size fit in whatever you would normally wear in the air max 90 if you've never owned a pair before i'd highly recommend just going in store and actually trying a pair before buying as far as I'm aware, these shoes are actually sitting pretty much everywhere and are pretty easy to get your hands on. So if you don't know your sizing, do try a pair before buying, but otherwise just go with your natural true to size fit. And I do think that that will be the best outcome for you. And other than that, we've just about covered everything that's worth covering about this shoe. So if we now let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So just to wrap up this video in terms of my overall opinion on the shoe itself, in terms of a rating, I'm gonna give these easily an eight out of 10. The colorway definitely didn't disappoint. The quality of the shoe is absolutely fine to me. Like I already touched on, this shoe is heavily gonna be in my rotation, especially as we approach autumn and winter. And it's just one of those shoes that's it's just timeless, it's effortless, it's just absolutely beautiful to me. 
For me, this may even be the best of the Persian Violet colorways. Not necessarily including the BW because that, of course, is the OG. And that is what we're taking inspiration from. But of every single other shoe that's released, the Air Max 90 by far is my favorite from the pack. I'd love to get your guys' opinion on that as well, though. Let me know what your favorite out of that pack is. Is it the Air Max 90 or is it one of the other shoes? Do make sure to let me know in the comment section below. But with all that aside, if you have stuck around to this point in the video, I do want to say a massive thank you. If you haven't already, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also, do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one.